Hey everyone, in today's video, we are going to paint with Lexington Gray, the fountain pen ink. Let me show you a few sketches that I have drawn recently and painted with that ink to show you what we are trying to achieve. So using Lexington Gray is actually a very quick way to do tonal studies. This Pentel color brush pen has been filled with Lexington Gray, and this is the brush pen that I used to color this sketch. It's really convenient to paint with this brush pen with the ink inside. And it's also very economical because, well, you don't have to buy the expensive refill. You can get a huge bottle like this and refill this brush pen many times over. I'm using the Pentel Color Brush Pen with Lexington Gray ink inside because I have already used up the ink that was initially inside this brush pen. Now, if you do not have this, you can get those water brushes, those empty water brushes and fill it with ink. Just be careful and make sure that the ink doesn't leak. The ink is very transparent, so it's great for pen and ink sketches like this. And depending on the paper that you use, you may get a darker or a lighter tone. Now this paper is 100% cotton, so it's able to soak in a lot of ink. And as a result, the gray tones here, they are much darker. You can also glaze over the first layer, but the grays, well, it will not be it will not turn black, it will just be a slightly darker shade of grey. So you will still need to have black. So for example, with this particular sketch, this grey areas, they were colored with Lexington grey. And this darker area here, this is black ink, also from a brush pen. This is how Lexington grey looks on paper that is not as absorbent. So compare this versus this. This is much lighter. Using the gray ink in a brush pen like this is easier and cheaper compared to using gray markers. By easier, I mean when it comes to painting, you can get very even application using the brush pen. If you are using markers, you are going to get those very visible horizontal or vertical streaks depending on the direction you are drawing. So this, this is really nice to work with. All right, let's do a very quick sketch and then we'll color using Lexington Gray. By the way, if you happen to have a Pentel color brush pen and you want to refill it with ink, you can check out the refilling video that I have created. There is actually a special way to refill this pen. All right, so now I'm going to very quickly just apply the ink to create shadow. So this is really quick. This is a really quick way to paint. Now this ink, this appears to be a bit darker than I expected. So you may want to sort of dilute it by adding water before you refill it into the brush pen. So I'm just doing this demo to show you what's possible with, um, with this. All right, I think I'm going to maybe dilute this ink. This is actually a bit darker than I want. So I'm going to take out some ink, put it here and add water to it. This is concentrated Lexington Gray. So I'm going to add maybe two large drops of water just to dilute it. So now I'm going to paint this area here and see how it looks. Now this is a much lighter gray and this is the gray that I want. And notice that when you are applying with a brush, the application is very even. This ink is waterproof when dry so you can use it with other mediums as well. This is really nice. I really like painting with Lexington Gray. And now let's switch over to using the ink from the brush pen again. Paint. I'm going to paint the shadows as well. So the shadows come to the side like this. With this brush pen, you can cover a large area really quickly. So this whole part here is in shadow. Let's glaze over the light gray here with some stripes. And let's make the shadows here a bit darker. So 
So the paper is still wet in this area, that's why the ink diffused. Let's see what happens when I paint another layer over the initial gray. Now depending on how absorbent the paper is, you may get a darker shade or you may not get it. So here, the difference between this versus this um, with two layers, it's not that obvious. So if I want to make this darker, I would need to use black. This is my other brush pen with black ink. So you, can so you see the contrast between this black and the gray, it's very obvious. With a few shades of grays and black, you can create the illusion of depth and shadows really easily. The underside of this roof is black as well, so let's just paint this with this black brush pen. And this shelter, this is black. With brush pens, you can create textures as well. If you draw very fast, you can get those uh, dry brush effect. And here I need this to be very dark. And if you run out of ink, you can squeeze it. Or if you really run out of ink, you can refill your brush pen. Let's add some details. I can add some details here as well with my white gel pen. So this is the completed sketch drawn under half an hour. It's really convenient to be using Lexington Grey in a brush pen like this. So with black, white, grays and some water, you can create quick tonal studies like this very easily. Now this is a fantastic way to practice, to understand more about tones, light, shadow and contrast. Alright, so that's all for my tutorial today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!